We're almost there. We're almost done. Let's deburr this real quick. And for the deburr toolpath, uh, we're going to go around and just deburr this top edge at first. So we'll grab my uh, spherical ball end mill. Got to pull that. There it is. Um, and you can do this, you know, you can do some of this with like a contour toolpath or something like that. But on these multi-axis parts, uh, it's really handy to use the deburr. We're going to grab the whole part as what we want to uh, machine to, but don't I, I don't like doing automatic because it just grabs every edge and there's just too many of them. So I'm going to go through and click uh, everything. The tangency is broken right there, so it's another thing we ended up cleaning up in uh, SolidWorks so that we can get a good clean uh, toolpath. For the tool axis control, this is a five axis toolpath, but we're going to leave the strategy to fixed to the main axis and we're cutting on the tip. So it's going to keep a vertical orientation fixed to the main axis. It's going to go around and cut on the tip of the cutter, and we'll see what that looks like. So that looks pretty straightforward, pretty simple. And when we go through and, and back plot it, it's given us a great result, but notice it's staying vertical, which isn't going to work in those later toolpaths where we kind of have to reach in underneath and stuff. So we're going to say strategy is normal to contour. So normal to contour just points directly at it and goes around and machines, so it's going to be kind of peeking in at the at the perfect angle to uh, to reach hard to reach areas. Now when you look at this though, do you see how the the center line of the toolpath is almost perfectly on top of the edge? And what that means is we're trying to cut with the center line of our tool, but the speed of the flute is zero at the end. Right, the center line has no speed on the flute, so we want to change that to where it's not cutting on the tip. We want it to bias towards the tip, but the new option in 2024 is to avoid direct contact on the tip, tip adjacent. And so now we get a very similar result that we did before, but instead of it being, you know, cutting on the center line where it burn up or or uh, you know, kind of basically stir weld the part. It's going to be cutting it right on the edge of that. So you see a lot of uh, enhancements. A lot of some of the things we've seen this year are relating to locating your cut on that cutter, so you can maybe adjust for and, and alternate where you cut for wear purposes, or so you can get just exactly the result you're looking for. So that's a deburr. We love deburr. Save you a lot of time. Give you a really consistent look on the final part.